Welcome back to Matt Chats, everybody. Right, so today's video um, is only a short one, and literally I'm going out of the weekend, so I've not had a chance to get an epic gameplay for you guys. So I do apologise. It's like, I think it's 16 for 14, so it's not exactly good. I might be 16 for 12. It's not brilliant, but uh, yeah, I just run around with a shotgun, and I don't actually realise that I'm playing firing range until like two minutes in, and then I realise that it is actually firing range that's been revamped. So yeah, enjoy that gameplay. Uh, again, it's rushing around in your face, nothing campering, so you know. It's going to be fun. So, today's topic, we're looking at, uh, I think about doing joblessness and the difficulties that you can face when you're trying to find a job that you really want to do or just a job in general. So, uh, yeah, me being personally, I, I went through uni, personally. Um, I went through college and university straight after each other, off the back of one another. And then I went uh, looking for a job and I couldn't find one and I didn't know why and I didn't know what I wanted to do. Uh, um, a lot of people will like thrust things upon you that you're not entirely sure if you want to do them or not. And by that, what I mean is uh, teaching, for example. So, say you're going to go to college or university and you're going to study. That's brilliant. A lot of you won't know what to do after that. Uh, like me, personally, I didn't know what I wanted to do afterwards. But the only other option that seemed to be there that was available for you was sort of like going back into teaching or going into teaching. Now, that's not necessarily true. Um, basically, just if you're not wanting to do something, if you don't want to do it, don't do it. Like, don't waste another year of, of your life or another two years or whatever it is uh, if you're not sure about what you want to do with it. Because, again, it's just been another qualification that you've got that you don't really want to use. So, but I, what I did personally was I wanted to find a little job just to put me on, um, just to get some cash and just sort of, like, buy my, buy my time trying to find the job that I really wanted to do. So, what I did is I applied for some part-time jobs and whatnot, and it wasn't happening. I literally, it took me... I finished my course around May, May... Um, June-ish, and I didn't get a job. The first job that I had was literally the December, and it was a Christmas temp job. It wasn't anything special, it wasn't anything big, and it wasn't really good pay, but it was just a Christmas temp job to put me on. And then I, after that, obviously, I wasn't needed there, so I lost that job in... Well, I didn't lose it. I was uh, not needed anymore. My services weren't needed, and I so I left that at around December time, January, January, the 1st of January, I left. And then, obviously, I didn't find anything then for another seven, eight months. It was August of last year when I first found, like, my per permanent per full-time job. Uh, and, again, it is hard because, at the moment, the way the economy is and the way the state is, the way the state of the world is at the moment, there's not a lot of jobs out there. And even if you are qualified, which a lot of people are qualified and overqualified for the jobs that they're applying for. Like, I'm doing, I'm working as, again, like, as a retail, but also as a, uh, it's more than that. It's more medical, more than that. But, yeah, I'm working that sort of, um, environment and I'm overqualified like I don't want to do that for the rest of my life I want to do something with my degree like I want to teach personally I'd love to teach or I'd like to uh, do something with my writing I would like because I'm I have an English degree so I'd love to do something with English uh, something more creative but again I am thinking about going into teaching now again it's taken me a couple of years to realize that that is actually what I want to do and it, it I don't know it's, it's recent developments in my life that's sort of like thought yeah you could really do this so Again, it's not going to happen all at once, and if you're out of job, if you're out of work now, just try and find something. I know it's difficult, but just apply for everything, that basically. Uh, don't give yourself any any less of a chance of finding any work, because if you think, oh, I'm too good for that, or I don't want to do that, then you're sort of limiting yourself already. You're not even giving, your chance, find, giving yourself a chance to find work. Uh, and again, it's such a hard place to find a job, because everybody's after the same ones now. Like... One the back a few years ago, you could literally apply and you wouldn't get that much of a demand. Like you get people wanting jobs, but the, at the moment, the way the, the world the way is the way it is at the moment, everybody's applying for the same jobs, and again, not everybody's going to get them. Only one person will get that job. So just gotta keep your, keep your spirits high. Just try and find everything and apply for everything. Really, uh, if you are thinking about going back into education and wanting to do that sort of role, uh, go for it. I mean, teachers will always be needed. Um, Anything like anything academic as well, it all it helps your CV. Obviously, it builds it, and it also shows that you're willing to work towards something better. So there is that. If you are thinking about going into education, like I, I want. Well, I'm going to go back into it, I guess, and do my teaching thing. Uh, but I've got a degree, and I wouldn't have wanted not to have it really. I, mean, I like the fact that I've been to do a university and got my degree, and even if I can't use it right now, I will later on in life. I will be able to use that. So yeah, just. It is hard trying to find work at the moment. Just keep your keep your heads up, keep looking, and again, something will come along because it always does. If you keep positive and just keep in the right frame of mind. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed that. I've been Matt Chats, uh, or Matt Strats even. Uh, if you've enjoyed it, please feel free to hit the like. If not, 
I apologise. Leave me a comment suggesting the next topic for the next one. Uh, yeah, I've been Matt Strats. I'll see you later. Bye.